Hey gearheads and welcome to Garage Talk. I'm Corey and that is the 2025 Subaru Forester. I've taken you on tours of this one before. I'm at the Mama Spring Rally. Let's take this one out and get it a little muddy. Yes, gearheads, I am in Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin, and I am at the Midwest Automotive Media Association, or MAMA, Spring Rally, where Subaru has brought their latest Forester. This does have symmetrical all-wheel drive, and we are gonna put that to the test with its dual X mode and check all of that out. I do have content from auto shows with this vehicle already on the channel, but just a quick tour of it. This is a touring model, and you can see I do like this blue paint. We've got uh, some up-level wheels. They aren't bronze, but sure do look like it with all this mud on it. You're about to see all the muck that we're traveling through today. This is the first vehicle I will be taking on the lighter off-road course, but let me know down in the comments what you think of this new Subaru Forester design. Have they gone too mainstream? Okay, that's enough of that. Let's hop inside, see how it performs off-road. Yes, I am in the 2025 Subaru Forester. This is the touring model. We do have dual X mode. We're gonna put this deep snow mud to the test because we're gonna get into some very gnarly stuff out here. My first green. <laughs> <laughs> All right, reach up on that center dash and put it in mud. All right, you're good to go. You're on green. So one thing I do like about this one, it, mud is going to be a theme of this review. We've got some mud on the cameras, but we do have a camera view button right here with multiple different views. We could have your bird's eye 360, you can have both your front tires and your front clip, or you could push it again and just get a frontal view and a bird's eye frontal view. So I really like some of the different camera angles. I'm going to put it on this one for as long as it'll work. Uh, and we're going to set off and see exactly what kind of stuff we can experience out here in the Subaru Forester. I have been out in bigger vehicles, the Hummer EV, a bunch of other uh, big, heavy, purpose-built, truck-based off-road vehicles, and it is some nasty mud out here today, like gnarly mud. So it will be very interesting to see how this little Forester handles all of this mud. Momentum is the name of the game, so I want to keep moving forward but uh yes very sloppy out here very uh, uncontrollable at times uh where you can kind of be sliding in the mud without any real input here from the steering wheel you can see just how rutted out uh this course already is as we go through it so it's going to be a much shorter video and shorter course uh than what i have done in previous uh, vehicles on this trip but yeah that was some serious mud that we were able to go right through no problem and there we get some of our wheel slippage uh, as we're going through the thick stuff uh, really stretching the legs on this if you couldn't tell by just how dirty this thing was on the outside <laughs> it's been a very muddy day might as well call this mud fest today because uh yeah as we turn the corner here look at the ruts that we have right here in front of us the ford ranger raptor just went through here we're gonna again go with momentum keep moving forward but yes <laughs> very rutted out situation out here as you see that ranger raptor struggling to turn even in all this mud you can see just what it's like out here for me with my X mode all wheel drive and the deep snow mud setting. Right now, I'm just walking right through all of it, but you can see just how rutted out this course has become with all of this sloppy, sloppy mud. My goodness. Uh, this really is testing the tires on top of everything else uh, because you really do need to have good tires to maintain traction and be able to get all this mud out. You can see now the Bronco Raptor there in front of us, just how mudded up those KO2s are, and we're going to see them struggle to get up that hill. I'm actually going to go around 
uh, just because I don't know that this one is cleared for all of the same obstacles and hurdles as those big vehicles like Bronco Raptor. But you can see, well, I can see, maybe you can in my window here, that he made it over just fine. But that is the type of situation. That is what this vehicle is going to be really good at, getting you out to a muddy campsite. This is proof positive that if you are a Subaru owner and you live an active lifestyle and you want to get out and experience nature and get out in the mud and uh, go explore a far off campsite somewhere, even if the conditions around you are not perfect, uh, the symmetrical all-wheel drive in this doing a fairly good job of keeping my forward momentum just as I intend it. Again, some of the really slick, sloppy stuff back there we were kind of drifting around in, but you can see even the two Raptor vehicles behind me and in front of me uh, are also dealing with that. So that's definitely not speaking badly of this Subaru Forester. The big conversation with this Forester is whether or not they did enough uh, or if they did too much to make it too mainstream. And I think getting it out here in all this mud um, is proof that it still has its Subaru DNA uh, at its core that it's able to get out here in all these deep ruts and do this course uh, even in these sloppy conditions. I, I will say we had a tornado in the area last night, tons of rain, big thunderstorm that just made everything sloppy and gross. I came out here last year and the course is definitely a lot more fun, mostly due to the improvements uh, that came from last night's storm. But you can see a very maneuverable vehicle. Oh, we got some more slop coming up. Let's see how symmetrical all-wheel drive gets us through all of this. Definitely pivots us. There we go. There we go. We're still moving. We're grooving. Let's get that body moving. <laughs> like, this is still a very good, very capable little vehicle, even if it isn't a big truck-based SUV. Now... Roll my window down to hear my spotter. <laughs> All right. Huge thanks to Jeep for providing the course workers out here. This is perhaps the sloppiest little bit. Even my uh, radar detection is making sure I'm not going to crash doesn't know off-road but yeah a lot of sloppiness out here to deal with but you can see just the degradation of the course here in front of me uh, what this little Subaru Forester is quite capable of unfortunately this is about all I get to do with it it is a speed date after all of this vehicle I do hope to get one of these for a long-term test, although I don't know that I will be venturing out to Barnwell. Let me know in the comments of this video if it is worth taking out to Barnwell because uh, Barnwell is degraded way more than this, and there's only so much that we can do out there in crossovers like this one. But now that we're getting more out into the open stuff, yeah, it, it's showing its unibody construction, just how soft it is and comfortable it is riding back through here. But uh, yeah, I've been back here in the Hummer EV, uh, Chevy Colorado ZR2 AEV Bison, Ford Ranger Raptor, and Tacoma TRD Off-Road. And this thing is just soldiering right along with the best of them all the way through this course. Big root, pivot, 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 and there we are to the end of the course. Like I said, a little bit shorter speed date of this one. If you want to see more from my time here at this event, hit the subscribe button down below and ring the bell so you are notified every time a new video drops. Find us on all social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, X, TikTok, Threads, YouTube, you name it, all at GT Garage Talk, or you can go to gtgaragetalk.com. But as for me, in the 25 Subaru Forester, until next time, gearheads. Bye. A little more mud. Here we go. Get sloppy. Get sloppy. And oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs>
Yeah. It's sloppy out here, guys. Very sloppy. 